Oh, be careful what you wish for, Ethan Winters. <laughs> <laughs> Been a little while, hasn't it, boys and girls? How you doing? Well, Resident Evil Village is here, finally. The long-awaited sequel to Resident Evil 7. So, normally, this is the point where I would kind of have my predictions. But, uh, yeah, I have no idea with this game. I'm usually pretty accurate when it comes down to predicting games. No idea. It could be a, a great one, or it could be a bad one. Resident Evil, you never know. It's like a roller coaster in terms of quality. Sometimes you get a great one, sometimes you get a bad one. Fingers crossed, let's hope we get a good one. Okay. Keep my skepticism out of the way. Let's see if we can enjoy some village. Yeah. Of course, yeah. Long ago, a young girl went with her mother to pick berries for her father who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from Mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. He greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared and with a click of his fingers crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. Woman at the store said it was traditional. <laughs> a local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so that she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. I'll finish dinner. It's okay, Rose. Your mother doesn't want to remember him. I can't blame her. 
Mia, you just it's say so nice Nothing. to see you again. I'll put her down. Especially since you don't have a chainsaw in your hand. I'm surprised I brought Ethan back. That really surprised me. Hmm. That's why the kitchen, right? Yeah. There, there. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. Not quite what I was expecting. Right off the bat. That is definitely not a bedroom. Gotta do a deep clean before Rose starts walking around. Almost there, honey. Ethan, you have like the most boring house I think I've ever seen, bro. <laughs> like, what is this? There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. So it's been three years since seven. Good to know. Dang, it took you... Okay, so Rosa's six months. It took them a little while to get on the baby-making process. <sighs> Rose is fine. It's not paranoia if they're really out to get you. Ah, Joseph Kendo. That was the gun shop owner back in RE2. No, no, that was Robert Kendo, wasn't it? Maybe it's a son. Mm. I wish it could stay like this forever. It really is nice to see these characters back, because I really, really, really liked all the characters in 7. And maybe not so much Zoe, but the rest of the characters I thought were really good. Really enjoyed them. First time in any Resident Evil game any of the characters have had some depth to them. <laughs> Is Mia. Is she okay? Sleeping like a, well, like a baby. Hmm, <laughs> that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, Mister. It's chorba de legume. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Hmm. Local wine too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. <sighs> You really have to stop worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You, me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be- Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so- <laughs> Mia, get down! Mia! <laughs> 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 
me up. Oh, God. Chris? What the hell? Sorry, Ethan. No! What? Why? Go on, move! All clear. Rose? What the hell are you doing with my daughter? Package secure, sir. Take him away. I said get your hands off her! Ethan, no. Hey doc. hey, Doc. Hello, Mr. Winters. I've got your daughter's results back, and I'd like you to come in to talk about them. How about next Thursday, 4 o'clock? No problem. We'll be there. That was the doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. Keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look, she's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! You just Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Damn it. I have to take this. Jesus. About damn time. What's your status? Is the package safe? What are you talking about? Where's Chris Redfield? And Rose? Who is this? This is a secure channel. You are not off the What the hell happened here? They already killed off my girl Mia that fast. All right, Chris. What are we playing at here? Winters's? No, only Resident Evil 6 is useless. Okay. Middle of the woods, snow, perfect horror environment. You know, I have deliberately avoided as much information about this game as I've been able to. I only watched a couple trailers, didn't play the demo, nothing. From what little I've gathered, it kind of looks like a combination of RE7 and RE4. 
with some more weird shit involved in it. If done well, could be in for a good one. Oh, Ethan, quit crying. You've had your hand cut off before. Five years and Resident Evil still got it. <laughs> Shit's about to get fucky. I can literally only see the ground in front of me. I need to change one quick little thing here. That'll do. It really does feel like Resident Evil 7 all over again. <laughs> it really is impressive graphically how much more advanced this is. It's the same engine. It just goes to show like how much practice they've had with it now. Something behind me, isn't there? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Why don't more video game protagonists do that? What did all this? Okay, getting some daylight. Good.
where the hell am I? <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's Resident Evil 4 through and through. Oh hell yes. Let's go through the spooky door first. Maybe, maybe they're out. Really, Ethan? Warren, I heard something moving the second I came out that door. Yep. for just the village setting alone. Yard. Yeah, that's definitely where I want to fucking be right now. Wonderful. Okay, better than nothing. Got a knife. <clears throat> Excellent. Even your inventory is like four. No shit. Wait. Treasure. They brought. Oh shit, they brought the treasure back for Mario 4 too. I suppose it was in five as well, but it was done better in four. I mean, everything was done better in four. Did they just run out of the house? No, no, friendly, friendly. Who are you? Who sent you? Nobody. There was an accident down on the road and... What's going on? Oh no. They're coming. Who is? What the hell was that? Do you have a gun? What? Please tell me you have a gun. No, why would I?
take it! Take it, take it. Help me, it's out there. Hey, are you listening? Dead body? Wait, there's more. Well, that escalated really quickly. <laughs> Jesus Christ! What the hell is wrong with this place? Fuck you. Shit. Oh my. Jesus Christ, these things are beefy as hell. God. What the hell? This pistol is not going to cut it. Maybe I shouldn't have put it on the hardest difficulty to start with, huh? Nah, I'm good. Chem fluid. Oh, can I... Oh, damn. There we go, green herb. Okay. All right, well, got one healing item. Better than nothing. What I do with these? You know, begin. I get the feeling this is going to be really, really confusing to navigate. Oh, how ballsy. I'm feeling ballsy. Yep. Ah, just like 
an RE4. <clears throat> okay. Ethan, don't be a fat fuck, please. More chem fluid. Oh, thank God. Jesus. Fuck me. There's no way out. Alright, do the old RE4 cabin method. with that? Heck no. Okay, I, I need to find a way out of here. Is it over? Okay, I guess they pissed off. There are any survivors out there. Come to my to house near the fields. Survivors? The fields? That doesn't tell me much. I have no idea where the fuck I am. Shit. Oh, okay. So, very similar to what Resin recent Resident Evil games have been doing. Tells me if I've cleared an area. Good. I like that. Nope. Pick it up, Ethan. There we go. Okay. I can't engage them right now. I have to try to outrun them if I can. Oh, thank God. Close it. Okay, gunpowder. Damn it. And gun ammo. Okay, there's still more stuff in here to find. Let's, uh, okay, craft any bullets. Go! Oh my fucking god, how many of them are there? Oh shit, hi. Oh, perfect. Come on, motherfuckers. Come on. There's no end to them. It's just enough to knock him down. Oh, this sucks all of the balls. Come on, buddy. I gotta figure out a way to get inside there. There. Oh. What the? What the hell even hit me? Okay, good. Make bullets too. 
shotgun shells. Another timing. Ethan. Ethan. Get up. Oh. And they're still hitting me. You're kidding me. Am I seriously already out of it? Yep. This is actual fucking insanity. Oh yeah, they can just come right the fuck in. They don't give a shit. Come on, Ethan. 